Tell me some of the pitfalls of a uh, property owner who does not use property management. Oh, you're going to get me a little passionate here because I see it every day. <laughs> what happens is, is a property owner gets a vacancy and they hire their painter. Well, they're great painters. They're good vendors out there, but they hire somebody who overcharges them. Mm -hmm. They come in and I've seen remodels. Uh, uh, one of my clients had a remodel. A guy come in, quote him, 16 thousand dollars to remodel a two-bedroom oh. one bath apartment building wow and the guy wasn't even doing half the same amount of work we were doing for the same price i was able to get my vendors together and get them in there and and they were coming in about 10 grand uh -huh. to do better work more work and i had uh how do i put this they specialized in what they were doing the hardwood floor guys does hardwood floors the painter yeah. does painting the granite countertops the guy who does granite countertops all day mm -hmm. and so what mm -hmm. happens to these owners is they hire a friend and mm -hmm. there's no second check there yeah the other pitfall they have is in leasing out their units and a lot of times the owners just get too busy to follow up with references and mm -hmm. and i've heard this from an owner over and over again well, you know, you can't call their past landlord because they might have just given you a friend's number. Wow. And number one, we've had that happen to us. But what we've done is what we do is we go double check and make sure that person owns the building. Of course, doing sales and that, you learn how yeah. to find the owner's numbers. And we've had people say, oh, here's the owner's number. I call the owner up. It's a wrong number. I get the owner's number, call the office. They give me the cell phone. Mm. He says, I haven't heard of that guy for the last five years. Wow. wow that's incredible. Yeah. I, I just sit and go, you know, those are those are probably the two things. But what really gets me upset uh -huh. is, like you said, expenses. Yeah. When someone comes in and overcharges an owner for a service mm -hmm. that I should that I know should be when it's admitted, they might be charged three grand. It should only be a grand. Or if it's mm -hmm. only a hundred dollars, they're charged three hundred dollars. Yeah. And that in my mind's um, theft. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. It absolutely is.